the chair, and uh, here's the members of the board. I'm Susan Fenton. Uh, George Forcio. Jennifer Mullins. Bill Hendricks. And we uh, have one member of the public here. <laughs> Joseph Mullins. Okay. <laughs> and Louise, yes, and Louise Beck and is a member of the public, and, and our administrative okay. assistant. Okay, thanks for coming, FCAT, <laughs> and recording. Um, well, I have a whole introduction and everything. Oh, should I make it? Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. We'll Good just practice. make it because even easy. though we're just with, yeah, that's true. Um, if you're here, sign in. <laughs> um, we're going to take a few moments tonight to talk a little bit about why we undertook this proposed revision of this article, Article 8 wireless to telecommunication facilities. Um, after going through the process of special permit approvals for two proposed cell towers off of 116, one near the Deerfield line and one near the Ashwood line, planning board members realized that our existing bylaw, last updated in the year 2000, were out of date and did not adequately address current conditions and current technologies and could be revised to better address many things. Uh, FCC regulations do supersede local and state regulations for wireless technology, but there are some local concerns and situations we can address. And uh, I thought we'd go through the proposed revisions step by step, and at the end of that, we can take questions. This is being recorded by FCAT. Thank you very much. And it'll be posted on the town website. And our minutes will be available as well, thanks to Louise Beckett, our administrative assistant. So, I thought I would run us through this a little bit. Okay, so um, just going through piece by piece the changes that we made, which are, um, if you're watching this as a recording, these are um, available, the text of these changes are available on the town website, also at the town clerk's office during office hours, and this is something we're going to be taking up at our June eight, third, eight third. June third town meeting. Town meeting. Oh, first, you're right. The third, the election. The first Saturday, Saturday in June, we'll be going to be taking up Article Eight, where the cell phone Just the so, <laughs> so when you take a look at the text, the italicized parts are new additions that we're suggesting. The the strikeouts are things we're suggesting. To um, um, yeah. So Beth? Yes, Susan. Um, I think that 8.3 is actually new and should be italicized. 8.3 is new and should be italicized? Yes, that should be. You're right. So just to clarify for the, yeah, for the purposes of the record. Okay. We will change that in the warrant. Right. Yeah. Thank you for pointing that out. All right. Keep, keep, keep 
keep your eyes open, people, for that. It's true. Um, so just going through little by little here, uh, some of the changes that we made were, um, and I'm going to like keep referring to you, George, because George did a lot of work on this, George was here. Uh, we added several definitions to recognize the changes in language used to define wireless facilities. Um, another definition that we added was small cell wireless communication facilities. Something that did not exist the last time this bylaw was revised 23 years ago. Ooh, okay. Is there anything to discuss about the definitions? We've discussed all this. <laughs> Oh, oh, George is pointing out to me that we actually amended this in April of 2005. So, less than 23 years ago. But almost 20 years ago. Um, right. Uh, anything to point out about this? A lot of definitions. Okay. Um, 8.2, the proposed revisions for 8.2, wireless communications facility requirements, you can see that um, one of the statements, one of the things that we deleted is uh, C, be responsible for the cost of designing the entire wireless communication infrastructure for the entire town of Conway. This was removed as this has proven to be impractical and unnecessary. Anything to add to that? Um, that deletion? Uh, yeah. Sounds right. Yeah. So that was that was the piece that was pr that's proposed to be changed if, if people vote for this at town meeting. Um, one of the things we added in this section was in the second section. So 8.22, protect the town's aesthetic concerns by addressing issues such as color, camouflage, and screening, uh, protection of bridge lines. So what we added to this, what we're proposing to add to this is um, screening of the wireless telecommunication facility and protection of bridge lines. No, it just seemed that we were trying to keep up the regulations with respect to protecting visual impacts. Yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's that was our reasoning for that. Uh, before that, you added the wireless communication facility developer, which was the initial driving force. I think. The fact that it's not the cell carrier anymore; it's the developer applying for the application. Yes. That we, oh right, 8.2. The Common Planning Board shall issue special permits to a wireless communications facility developer or duly licensed wireless carriers. Recognizing that this is the um, way that uh, cell towers are now um, developed and built. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So we have a screening protection regulations. Then, what was our other big thing? Item five, item five. So this is a proposed addition that recognizes existing structures. Right now in Conway, we do have a, a wireless uh, communications facility mounted on the, what people would refer to as the orchard equipment water tower. <laughs> And uh, we wanted to address that reality. So that's an addition. Uh, section five, if mounted to an existing structure, be allowed to extend above the height of that structure if the planning board finds that this mount is appropriately camouflaged and are screened from view, or the mount is otherwise compatible with the context of the site on which it is located, provided that no such mount may extend more than 12 feet above the building or structure. Uh, do we want to talk about six? If a freestanding monopole not be sited within a distance equal to the height of the tower from a structure or private or public ways that are not part of the WCF or from a property line. 
Yeah, and that's essentially the fall line, the fall zone, right? They don't have the tower to fall over and hit something mm -hmm. or cross the property line. Yeah, that seemed important. Um, we added, uh, we're proposing on another item seven, minimize fragmentation of open space areas and permanently protected open space when feasible and shall not have a significant harmful impact on native plant and animal species in the vicinity protected under the Massachusetts Endangered Species Act. This was an, uh, our hope that there'd be a kind of an extra sense of protection yeah. um, on, on things that we know are important <laughs> to lots of residents of Conway and many abutters, potential abutters to subcars, as well as the plants and animals that might be there. Yeah. Um, anything else? Uh, for there, no. Item nine here is. This is the one that protects this historic is, properties? This is the historic areas. So this is our proposed text. Not alter the character defining features, distinctive construction methods, or original historic materials of any historic structure of any building within a state, local, or federal historic district. Any alteration made to a historic structure to accommodate WCF shall be fully reversible. We do have a historic district in Conway, and that is the village center. We wanted to um, have some sort of well, we just want protection. To check. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, protection. Have the right to be able to deny it based on that. Yes. Um, we added, a, we're adding a proposed um, sentence about uh, a barrier sufficient to provide safety and security. And we also added um, a proposed section 11, ensure equipment shelters and outdoor equipment for WCF shall, under normal operations, together not generate noise in excess of 50 decibels of the property line at any abutter, except for temporary emergencies. Seems to speak for itself. Mm -hmm. um, okay, then um, up to K. Up to K. We are up to K. K. Um, ensure all equipment proposed for the WCF should be authorized per the most recent revision of the FCC guidelines for evaluating the environmental effects of radio frequency radiation or any other applicable FCC guidelines and regulations. So this particular sentence is to recognize that the FCC is the, is the agency that um, sets uh, the standards for um, radio frequency radiation, and we just wanted to ensure that this was embedded in the bylaw um, to recognize that part. What else about that? And that's kind of it. There was a lot of concern at recent hearings from people who are concerned about radiation, and mm -hmm. so this is a way to strengthen our local bylines to the extent we can under the umbrella of the federal laws to ensure that those concerns are addressed locally mm -hmm. as much as we can. As much as we can. Yeah. Well said. Well stated. Uh, George, is, are L and M Yeah, I was just going to say M, no, no. M, N, and O, they're all new, as well as the all material modifications that all should be italicized. The all in No, not this version. L, M, and N, O. That's the last of the okay. translations. Yeah. Italicized. Not L. L is, L is there. Okay, L is there. Um, I take it back. I no, Ella isn't there. Ella's new, too. Okay, yeah. this is great. Yeah. All right, so this is all good because um, tomorrow, and we're certain that this is the text that we want to go into the warrant, I'll send it in for the warrant. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Um, so that's, oh, these are all new. So L. <coughs> yeah, L and M are about the access roads. Access roads, um, which is basically we wanted to 
address the access road to a, a new tower that would um, address slope, appearance, emergency access, and erosion. Mm -hmm. Just a way to make sure that um, the future planning boards have a, uh, the bylaw that's needed to look at this authority. Okay. That's all good. All right. Now, here's our newest piece that didn't exist at all before. You must italicize. Huh. 8.3, small cell wireless communication facility requirements. So, this is something that we, um, is brand new to the bylaw. It's a completely different <laughs> section of it. Um, and it's about small cell wireless communication facilities also called SCWCF, are a type of broadband infrastructure that typically takes the form of small antennas that are placed on existing infrastructure, both indoors and outdoors, and poles along public rights of way. So they um, typically have a range that varies from a few hundred feet to upwards of a thousand Oops. feet and operate at lower power. Yeah, just Oh no. Or misspelling. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Tell me all those things. Um, typically intended for 4G and 5G equipment are not a substitute for macro cell site. Compliment. Compliment. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, compliment. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, they might be complimenting them. <laughs> you look so nice. Anyway, um, <laughs> siting of uh, SCWSCF facilities is subject to planning board special permit approval and shall seek to prevent interference with the use of streets, sidewalks, alleys, roads, traffic light poles, or other light poles and other public ways and places to prevent creation of visual and physical obstructions or other conditions that are hazardous to vehicular and pedestrian traffic. Three, protect against environmental damage. Four, Preserve the character of the neighborhoods by preventing visual blight. Five, preserve the historical character of historic structures or historic neighborhoods, including but not limited to such structures or neighborhoods that are in local historic districts or on the national or state register of historic places. Six, minimize adverse visual and auditory impacts on abutters. So, Very important. this seems. Um, really good. <laughs> Reading it again, I like it. So, are there any questions from the audience? <laughs> Members? No. <laughs> Member? <laughs> what was it supposed to say? No, sounds good to me. Compliment with an E. C-O-M-P-L-E-M. <laughs> yeah, E, not the, uh, not the other way around. So, um, barring any um, further discussion on this, <laughs> <laughs> and taking into account all these things that I will correct, um, let's just go over them again. What I need to correct, I need to. Then I'm gonna I can pass you my version. Back okay, that'd be fantastic. Susan will pass me her version. I will correct these um, inaccuracies. Submit the revised tax. The proposed. Uh, the text of the proposed revision to Veronique and Adam tomorrow, and they're going to um, put in the warrant for our town meeting, where we're going to invite everyone in town to discuss and approve this. You know, vote on this. Either today or sometime in the future, you all need to vote. Yeah, on this piece. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think we'll do that today. Let's do that today. Let's do that today. Yeah, let's do that. I know we need to vote. Yeah, I think so. That's the best I can do. I think that would be a great night because we're all here. Yeah. All right, we're going to vote on this. So the nature of the vote is to approve the article as amended and forward it to town meeting. Is that what we're doing? Oh, as amended and presented at the hearing. All right, there you go. As amended and presented at the hearing and then forwarded to town meeting, I move. I'll second that motion. Okay, all in favor move. of this? Hmm? You moved? I moved. Susan, Susan thanks, moved. Thanks. George seconded. We're all gonna take a vote on this. So, all in favor of this, 
Aye. We don't have to say aye. We don't. Aye. 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 All of us. It's unanimous. This is fantastic. Excellent. Really great work. I didn't get who seconded it. George. George. And I would like to go on the record to compliment George for his hard work on these amendments. Pretty impressive. I think this is. We really like this. Yeah. This proposed revision. Is it important to do? Yeah. All right. Well, I move that the meeting be adjourned. That the hearing be adjourned. I think so. I think we have to adjourn the meeting. Close the close the hearing. Close the hearing. Close the hearing. Close the hearing. Okay. Susan moved to close the hearing. George seconded. All in favor of that? Aye. Aye. All right. Thanks, you guys. Well, motion to adjourn, right? That's what I did. Well, yeah, we're done. Twenty minutes. <laughs> that was it.